So somewhat exciting news for all you locals here in uh, Central Florida. Uh, I mean, I think it's exciting. But then again, it may not seem that exciting to you. Anyway, to the news. Uh, if you're coming or entering Walt Disney World th via the 536, they have finally made it so the road is back to normal and you actually finally go back under the Walt Disney World archway. Uh, for gosh, uh, maybe two months it's been doing this weird thing that you kind of go to the left and then curve back right onto the 536. But yeah, it's back open, back under the arches. We are allowed to go. Taking a quick stop to downtown Disney, or wow, it's called Disney Springs now. How did I forget that? It's still new to me, even though. It's it's been called that for what? A year? Two years now? Yep. So, uh, first stop of the day is Disney Springs. So, it looks like the curl surf here in downtown Disney. I keep calling it downtown Disney. Disney Springs in Orlando is also selling these new transport backpacks. Transport Disney backpacks. So I just walked in and out of uh, the Marvel superhero store quick, and they had this weird comic. Apparently, they have a Marvel superhero Tsum Tsum comic, and yeah, that's just a little. I don't, I don't get that. I wonder how well that sells. I think it's time I go get something to eat. It is probably almost five o'clock yet. I haven't eaten anything today. I don't think that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna have some pizza from Blaze. Blaze Pizza. Summer in Florida. Rain every day. It's just how it is.
spaceship used to be home to the Ride the Comics VR experience, where essentially you were a hero fighting the villains with a lightsaber, but they didn't call it lightsaber. Disney didn't own Lucasfilm yet. Mighty Ducks, Pinball Slam. Those are the vehicles. Not really vehicles, but that's how you play the game, using those. They kind of sort of run on these segways, but they're, they move back and forth in a fixed position. That makes any sense. They're basically controlling your puck, your number puck, trying to get a pass of goaltender. Which looks like a wild wing. Pretty cool. Believe it or not, well, this was a messy party, but believe it or not, at this very table, Disney Quest first opened, this was pretty much an internet cafe. All came to Alice in Wonderland, which you can't really tell too well these days, but yeah. When you play a game with the Cheshire Cat, this is pretty much the food for it. Ah, I see some Alice references now. Hold on, what's the same? There's that tricky Cheshire Cat. Yeah, there he is. I'm not really sure what's behind that curtain. There used to be a screen there, a stage. We're on the very top floor here. I believe we're on four or five. All these pinball machines. I think it's a shame that they closed it. I think it's a shame that this whole place is closed.
actually reminds me of Windows PC game I had as a kid. Magic at Disney Animation, something like that. Radio Disney. To make your own song. I don't know if it's over right now. Oh. I wonder if it's still working. This looks kind of busted, unfortunately. Womp womp. Look at that. You can't really tell, but there you go. <laughs> and they also have the Animation Academy that used to be at Disney's Hollywood Studios, but now the launch bay is there. And let's take a look at who, are, who they're drawing. Hope we can make that out. Looks like Doofenshmirtz. Now, the part that's behind his teeth here, you want to shade that in real quick. Oh, that's a virtual film. It's like Jurassic Park. I am now entering Adventureland, heading to Pirates of the Caribbean. I apparently just added a photo opportunity and brought back the Jolly Roger, the talking Jolly Roger that has been gone for more than 10 years. Also another change that I read about today is that apparently the uh, buy a bride scene is going to change and the redhead is, just go look it up. Uh, there's concept art. I think it was posted on the Disney Parks blog. Uh, but yeah, the scene is changing after all these years and now, they showed the, uh, the redhead with a musket. So, very interesting times, but I'm pretty excited over that change. I don't know if I'll be in the minority, but it's getting a little crowded. There's an entry line, so people slowing down. Walt Disney World's Adventure Land is at least to me, it seems a lot bigger than uh, Disneyland, but about to go on Pirates. <laughs> Well, Anchor, now, you swabbies, what be I offered for this winsome wench? Stout hearted and corn Shift your cargo, dearie. Show them your larboard side.